So some pretty big news for Resident Evil 9 has popped up this week by the YouTube channel Residents of Evil. They cover Resident Evil news and other types of content and well, they dropped the bombshell of a leak in the form of two videos. And we will be covering the leaks here in this video and there's quite a lot of information that we are going to be covering and I do want you guys to know and take this all with a grain of salt because even then this also could be fake. I really just want to preface that because even then for such a big YouTube channel this could have some validity to it but then again I just say take everything with a grain of salt when covering rumors and leaks. Before I do continue all I ask is if you guys can drop a like and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me but other than that let's just get right into the video. So Leon S. Kennedy, Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield and Barry Burton will be returning in Resident Evil 9. Jill and Leon are set to be playable characters and Chris and Barry are set to be support roles similar to Hunnigan in Resident Evil 4. The first playtest was held in April of 2024. It featured Jill Valentine exploring an abandoned hospital on an island. Her mission involves locating a serum to combat the mutamycete infection affecting the residents. So it looks like we are going to be picking up the story that Resident Evil 8 left off on. Jill encounters mold infected zombies armed with weapons like knives, axes, sights, and pieces of wood. Her inventory includes a shotgun, pistol, knife, crafting materials for ammunition, and classic healing items like herbs and sprays. A creature known as the Goatman armed with a large axe stalks Jill throughout. While it cannot be killed, it can be temporarily incapacitated. The Goatman, on the other hand, has horns, a large mouth on its belly, and a large axe. Jill then receives radio support from Chris Redfield who provides provides insight into the hallucinatory effects of the infection and the importance of stopping the bioweapon. And Barry Burton also makes an appearance advising Jill on weapon upgrades. The playtest then ends with Jill being overpowered by the Goatman, leaving her unconscious and infected. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 3 when Nemesis infects Jill. So originally the second playtest I was going to make its own separate video but I kind of want to just cram it into its own designated video because I don't want to make two separate videos and honestly it's just kind of a hassle but the second playtest took place in September of 2024. It featured Leon S. Kennedy on a beach at night transitioning into a dense forest near Mr. Simon's laboratory. I'm guessing this is the big bad of the game. Leon is then tasked with tracking down Simon who is involved in creating cloned bioweapons of Evelyn. His inventory includes a machine gun, pistol, knife, and aid sprays. Enemies include zombie wielding axes, a witch-like woman who transform into flies, and hallucinated dog-like creatures. The witch, described as seductive and eerie, cannot be killed and taunts Leon throughout. Beside all that, these are some pretty interesting leaks if I'm being quite honest. Do I really believe it? It's kind of hard to say for sure, but it is coming from a reliable source, a YouTube channel as big as them. They, they probably do have some credibility, if I'm being honest with you. But I do want to make a separate video discussing my own thoughts on this, honestly, because I, I want this video to be separate from the leaks being discussed in this video. And I want another video discussing my honest opinions because I feel like that needs to have its own discussion. But that's going to have to wrap up this video, guys. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, I would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and honestly please leave me your honest thoughts on this like i for me like i said i want to make its own separate video but if i'm being quite honest i do not like the sound of this yes leon kennedy and jill valentine it's it's a good duo and i'm happy that they're finally gonna come on screen is ada or claire gonna be in this game i highly doubt it but it would be like the first game where ada is not in resident evil without leon and that's pretty crazy because if, even in the like cgi movies she's in there and what's crazy i mean this is going to be the first time we've seen leon since resident evil 6 beside the death island movie that just came out last year but yeah guys that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up this video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out